Hi, I'm Bianca Spinelli. Today we're testing out a new lesson designed to show preschoolers the power of artificial intelligence. We'll use the text and image features of AI to help the students write their own children's book. Parents and teachers will be observing this lesson so we can get their reactions to this exciting new technology. Bianca, thanks for helping Amazing Explorers with this project. How did you come up with this idea? I came up with this idea because I think AI is a big thing for me and my future, and also I wonder how it would have been growing up with AI. So to teach kids early on and have them not be completely lost is a good thing. The first step involved engaging the children by posing questions like, are you familiar with AI? And have you heard of Alexa, Google, or Siri? Through an interactive discussion and hands-on play, we show children some of the basic capabilities of AI. Today we're going to be writing a story using AI. Does anyone talk to Siri or Alexa? I don't have Alexa. Do you want to ask her the weather, or you want to ask her a math question? Math what math question do you want to ask her? Five plus three. OK, ready? Hey, Siri, what's five plus three? Next, we ask children to use their imagination to formulate basic details about a new children's book that they would like to read themselves or even share with their friends. We're going to come up with ideas and we're going to vote. What's your ideas? Um, unicorn. Orca. Orca? Mermaids? Orcas? What about mermaids? Me, me. Four. <laughs> With a very basic storyline in mind, project facilitators entered the children's ideas into ChatGBT. Using details from the story developed with ChatGBT, children used an AI image generator to create a range of illustrations that could complement each page of their storybook. Mermaid was swimming in the ocean. Okay. And, and she saw the I'll orca. Oh, they're gonna go eat seaweed? Yeah. Once upon a time in the deep blue sea lived a mermaid and an orca who were friends, you see. So we have our book using AI and we got all the words in it. What else are we missing in the book? Pictures? We're gonna use AI to create pictures for our book. So what would you guys put in AI to make a picture? A mermaid swimming in the water. We're gonna do the second part of our story, so. Which picture do you guys put? Um, three. So we're gonna put all these pictures to finish our book, okay? The results were transformational. Preschool children not only embraced the concept of AI, but also became active participants in crafting a story that blended their own inspiration with the magic of technology. Look the book you guys created. The end. Do you like your story? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. A small group of parents and preschool teachers were invited to observe the lesson and then engage in a brief focus group. The research portion was designed to understand the thoughts, feelings, and emotions that they experienced while observing their children learn about AI. Participants were asked to select various images that represented their ideas because academic research has shown that images and metaphors can be a useful way to describe complex thoughts and feelings. Children that are studying this now, in 10 or 20 years, they're gonna be using this alongside their, their job to make it more efficient for them. It's the future, definitely. It's the future for the world. Still, I think they need to use it when they're a little bit older. I wanna see actually the kids coming up with that imagination in their brains to do the whole story, because they're using their brains more in their imagination. Without a doubt, this will be a future that includes AI. Bianca, what did you learn participating in this project? I learned that AI is still new to people and that everyone's still learning about it and parents and teachers are kind of nervous and doubtful, but they're also really excited to see where it takes us in the future. The result was a great children's book that mirrored their imagination, helped them understand AI, and showed them a new pathway to the future.
What did you think parents thought about this lesson? I think parents were a little doubtful because it's still like a new thing that everyone's learning about. But I think they're also like excited and they want to see where it goes in the future and how their kids will learn from it. I also want to thank the team of Amazing Explorers who collaborated with me on this project.